Here we are into the, the room. This was actually the racquetball court. At one period, all of these garments were stored over in the trophy room, uh, hanging on a rack. And then this was probably the best idea for the fans is in general. Uh, when you speak about these costumes, this is where I got my hist or my beginning uh, studying these costumes before I actually got involved with Gene Doucette and Bill Ballou on these. Um, there's a nice retrospect of uh, the different garments and time period, of course that being the Aloha from Hawaii costume uh, the, or what was known as the Liberty Eagle. And of course the two pinwheels and there's one missing from the display which is the red pinwheel that was referred to as the burning love. They all were it, almost exactly the same as far as design work was concerned. Well, this particular suit was designed by Jean Doucette and it was called, in the, Jean called it a turquoise or a cluster suit. There was two of them. One had a, a gemstone that looked, uh, it was a matrix stone, and then this one which is, has crystal and AB uh, crystal cabochons. And of course the tiger and the sundial. The funny story behind this tiger suit was, even though Elvis, Elvis and Gene Doucette never got to meet, this was a concept suit that Gene had in the back of his mind for many years. Gene was always into animals, many different animals. Uh, that's why a lot of times when you see some of Elvis's stuff, like the eagle, even though that's an eagle, it's still an animal. Gene's an animal activist person, so he was involved with doing that. Uh, like that, but uh, and then of course the sundial, which there's many stories behind this sundial suit. But the one story that I can tell you without uh, going into too much in time frame is uh, the uh, kick pleats. Gene Doucette was born and raised in Brooklyn, and uh, Brooklyn, New York, that is. And um, he always loved the skyline scenes of Brooklyn when it was getting dark, or from Brooklyn looking at Manhattan when it started getting dark. So what he did was. One evening, he was sitting at home thinking about, boy, I wonder what's going on back in Brooklyn, where his family was still living at the time. And so he started doing some sketching, and he sketched this suit out. <clears throat> and um, he um, sketched around the kick pleat area. And if you look at the kick pleat area on the suit, you will actually see a famous building, which was the Chrysler Building in New York City. That's what that area right there is designed after. So there's so many stories behind these suits that we'll go into in other forms or fashions, but uh, this is uh, where we got our start. Hilton proudly presents Elvis Presley.